Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is how to use the auto bar in BandLab. Here I have a virtual instrument track with some MIDI notes added. Now the auto wah reacts to notes and to MIDI velocity. The louder the note, the brighter the wah effect will sound. So you might want to experiment with the velocity of your notes. Double tap on the track header. Tap on effects. Tap on the plus icon. Scroll through the tabs. And tap on the modulation tab. Then tap on auto wah. Auto wah loops through a range of sound frequencies, increasing the volume of the looped frequency. And this typically is used on guitar sounds. Filter mode sets the looped sound frequency range. Tap on the filter mode drop list. Then tap on LPF to use a low looped frequency range. Or tap on BPF to use a mid looped frequency range. Or tap on HPF for a high looped frequency range. Here I will use BPF. Polarity sets the direction of the looped frequencies. Tap on positive for the loop to go up the frequencies. Tap on negative for the loop to go down the frequencies. Usually, you would set this to negative. Depth sets how much the loop changes the increased frequency by. Drag the dot on the slider to the left to reduce how much the frequency changes. Drag the dot on the slider to the right to increase how much the frequency changes. Generally, I think depth works best around 50%. Amount sets how much the looped frequency volume is increased by. Drag the dot on the slider to the left to reduce the amount. Drag the dot on the slider to the right to increase the amount. Generally, I think amount works best around 20%. Volume sets the output volume of the auto wire effect. Drag the dot on the slider to the left to reduce the volume.
or drag the dot on the slider to the right to increase the volume. Normally, you will leave this set to 0 dB. Sensitivity sets how the auto wah reacts to the MIDI notes. Drag the dot on the slider to the left to reduce the sensitivity. Drag the dot on the slider to the right to increase the sensitivity. Generally, I think sensitivity works best around 6%. Speed sets the speed of the sound frequency loop. Drag the dot on the slider to the left for a slower frequency loop. Drag the dot on the slider to the right for a faster frequency loop. Generally, I think speed works best around 10%. Release sets how often the auto wah is triggered. Drag the dot on the slider to the left to reduce the time between triggers. Drag the dot on the slider to the right to increase the time between triggers. The longer the time between triggers, the fewer notes that will trigger the auto wah. Generally, I think release works best around 800 milliseconds. Now click on the back arrow. Then click on the X icon. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.